D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, I, before I get started on this video, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you get a... Uh, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, YouTube is going to do their annual um, bot purge and old account cleanse. And there usually is a little bit of collateral damage. Not too much, but a little bit. I don't know why. It just is. Anyways, um, so I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. It looks like the CW is getting a Wonder Girl show. Now, this isn't going to be uh, Donna Troy or... Uh, um, Wonder Woman herself. Uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be Yara Flora. Flora? Is that Yara Flora? I think that's Yara Flora. I don't know how to say her name. Anyways, and she is the Brazilian Wonder Girl. This will be produced by Greg Berlanti and his production company. He does all the CW shows. And like I said, this will be on CW, not on HBO Max, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We shall see. Um, now, uh, Yara is a Amazonian uh, who was the daughter of an Amazon, uh, an Amazonian woman and a river god. So I wonder if she's going to have any like water powers or whatnot. That'd be kind of cool if she had water powers. Um, so uh, she will be the first Latin uh, uh, woman uh, or character to be the main character in a DC TV uh, TV show. Uh, so, and this tells the backstory of Yara Flora um, and everything. But she's going to get her uh, debut in the comics in the Future State, which is being written by Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns for me is a hit or miss when it comes to comic books. I don't. I liked uh, uh, Blackest Night. Uh, that was really good. And then uh, uh, Flashpoint uh, is good also. But other than that, I really don't like anything else that he's done. Now, this joins the ranks of shows like The Flash, the up-and-coming Superman and Lois, uh, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning, Supergirl, which will have its last season. And I believe Stargirl is now considered a CW show. It was going to be on HBO Ma or DC Universe, and then it went over to CW. Uh, but it is also on HBO Max. Now, if you remember, the first Wonder Girl was Donna Troy, and that character uh, made its uh, not live-action debut, but it did make a debut as far as that goes on uh, Titans um, in season one and season two. But in season two, she did die, unfortunately, but it, which was so stupid. It was so stupid how she died and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, so... That is my second story of the day. I'm very curious to see what they do, who they cast. I don't know if the CW has the budget to do this show in, in, in its proper way. I mean, Wonder Woman's a very power-centric character. It's like Superman. Like, I don't think they do the right... They don't, I, they don't do Supergirl justice as far as power set goes. So I have some, I have some doubts about if they're going to be able to do uh, justice to Wonder Girl as far as powers go. How do you feel about Wonder Girl, the Brazilian Wonder Girl, uh, Yara Flora, getting her own TV show? I'm pretty sure I'm not saying her name right, but whatever. Uh, getting her own TV show on the CW. Do you wish it was going to uh, HBO Max and maybe they'd have a bigger budget to do her power set correct? Do you Are you like me and you don't think they're going to do her power set right and or do it justice? Or do you think that, do you think it'll turn out well? Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.